Hi there, this is Stacy Jensen from Color Val, and today I'm going to show you a tutorial that's been really popular. We showed it in Photoshop Elements last time. So I wanted to show you how to batch photographs almost in a faux type of way because you're technically not running uh, any kind of processing over photos that you're not seeing. You're, you are still batching in the sense of um, dragging and dropping everything that you've done without having to do any extra work and saving yourself a ton of time. So let's get started. Here we have um, a session from a wedding and weddings can take a really long time to edit if you're not using a trick like this. Let's go ahead and put a black and white action over it. So I already edited all of the color photos. Now I want to black and white them. This same process can be done with color actions as well. As long as it's not a skin smoother or um, any type of action that's going to make a copy of your background. Okay, so we are going to use the, let's go with the matte black finish. So what you do is you run the black and white the way you want it. Adjust any of the layers that you have in there. So if we needed to turn things on or turn things off, we would go ahead and adjust them now. Once you're done with that, you would grab all of the layers in your layers palette. Uh, for Photoshop users, this would generally be a group. For Elements users, you would have to select all the layers in the layers palette that encompass that action. So we're going to grab the folder and then we're going to take it with our move tool click in the center, grab it, and pull onto your next photograph. And now you're done. So then you would save this one. The next thing you would do, again, we still have it selected. We would grab it, hover over our other photo, bring it to the center, and drop it, and we're done. Now we would save that photo, grab it, click to the next one, drag it, and drop it. So as you can see, it's really fast. One of the best reasons about doing a faux type of batch is because you you truly still have the ability to make any touches that you need to for a particular photo. Some photos, the exact settings for the layers aren't going to work. And if you batch it and you've never looked in the image, you may not know that this one, the exposure is off slightly, so you can come in, drop down the list of layers, and make extra adjustments. So for this one, maybe we would turn down the air, but we still have the same exact feel, and the editing was much faster. So I hope that this helps you. Thank you so much for watching, and please come visit Color Veil Actions.